So I wanted to just um, get on here and share a little bit about our financial story. <laughs> so you guys have probably heard my husband's testimony where he was um, had IBS so bad he ended up being bedridden for three months. But um, some don't know that we actually ended up on full Medicaid and full food stamps um, at that point. And so um, we had literally just moved 3,000 miles. Um, everything was in storage. We were living with my mom and he ended up leaving, living with her for 10 months and um, all four of us in an 800 square foot apartment. Um, a blessing to be with my mom, but I was newly pregnant. We were hoping to do a home birth. So many things going on. Um, and so, um, I mean, we ended up, it was literally God sustaining us. We were three months behind in all our bills. We, um, I, I don't know how we made it. It literally was the hand of God. I mean, we had, um, eventually when we did get a place, uh, a town home, we, um, and had our second, we, um, had people end up having to pay for our rent. Um, like God would have them send us a check in the mail and it was literally watching, and walking in faith and just seeing God's provision of us stepping out in faith and learning to live life. I mean, he's such a good father. Um, and P the way we actually started Plexus was someone had given us some money and I knew if we didn't change the trajectory of our health that our finances would never change, our life circumstances just wouldn't change because we didn't feel good enough to be able to more for move forward and past really where we had gotten stuck in a really hard cycle. Oh, I love you, my friend. Um, and so, um, it's all glory to God. It's literally his hand of why we made it through. So, um, so someone gives us money and we start our journey on Plexus and, um, I knew I had to get it paid for right out of the gate if we were going to keep taking these supplements. Now, I had been studying um, gut health for about three years prior to that, so everything I saw had come into alignment with what I had studied, and so I jumped on board. I was like, everyone has a gut. Yes, they need gut health. Let's go. Um, and But little did I know that it was um, so much more than that. So we had um, where as I started to learn more about the body and just how amazingly it's made by God and how it should be working, <laughs> um, that um, uh, got something God started speaking to me was uh, to expand, expand our 10 pigs. And so what this meant um, was um, creating the ability to make more. Um, my three-year-old is in the back. Oh, almost three. Um, and so I had, I learned about the products. I learned um, just watching uh, this natural path talk about um, how much it helped the body. And I'm looking at my notes so I don't forget because I'm getting distracted by a cute little person behind me. Um, and so I jumped in feet first. I started sharing and what I found was 90% of my friends had a chronic health condition that I didn't know about, um, which was totally fine, but I didn't know so many people were silently s struggling. So, um, so what I did, uh, was really inspired to help people regain back their quality of life because we had tried so many things that it got us to a certain point, but, um, we couldn't move past there. So I just wanted to offer hope to people. Um, and you know what I found was so many people, you can sit there maybe, um, were ready uh -huh. They were ready um, for a, you know, they were looking for something. And on the financial side, I realized if if we didn't do something um, different, maybe outside the box, that nothing was going to change in our lives. Because honestly, in ministry, you can really only make um, so much to a certain point, unless like you write a book or something. So my notes are getting moved around now. <laughs> The joy of being. So, um, let's see. Sorry, my face. Um, so, was I worried about being salesy? I mean, yes. Was I worried about what people thought? Yes. Did I think I could make six figures and be a stiff? <laughs> oh, mommy. <laughs> Maybe. But here, no, honey, I'm on, I'm on a thing. Hold on. Um, and so, I found the whistle. <laughs> Thanks for staying with me this long. So, um, but could I help three friends feel better? Heck yeah, I could do that. And so now getting to a place where 
um, after a lot of personal growth, a lot of coaching from my amazing friend, Michelle, I have grown as a mom, as a wife, as um, just really a person and a friend. I feel like I'm not put like my internal people pleasing and worried about everything has gotten to such a healthy place that I couldn't pay for personal growth. So it has been so worth the journey of really um, growing and developing um, a network marketing business with Plexus because of just how they fashioned and designed it. They made it where I, uh, I had to grow in order to be able to make more money. And the more I grew and became more like Jesus, the more I made. I mean, how amazing is that? Um, and so, um, let's see. So now, like I hit Senior Ruby, and what happens, the next rank is the six figures. Y'all, we were on food stamps and Medicaid. Did I ever think, I mean, I hoped, I wished, I was praying, um, but did I think it was like this soon, two years later, reality? I didn't know how we'd get there, but here's what, um, uh, that they, that I found was the, oh, sorry, I'm a, <laughs> my three year old just got out of the truck, um, was that I found that hard work, it just, and small consistent things paid off. I mean, I had just had a baby. I had so many excuses. We had mold sickness. I mean, all the things that you could be like, I, it's just, I don't feel good. It's too much. A lot of like getting through fears. Um, but here I am sitting right before the six figures, the free trip to Hawaii. And that is nice. But what is amazing is my team. There are other people who are just like me that didn't have money for groceries that people would have to, um, God would tell them to give us $20 and that's how we'd get milk for the kids. I mean, honestly, there are so many times, so many times friends stepped up and, um, or didn't even know they just listened to the voice of God. And so why am I on here talking this? Because as a child of God, I realized expanding my tent pegs getting more. Now I'm able to turn around and help friends in the same exact place we were. Like the same place. <laughs> and I'm able to give more. Like I'm able to um do things I never thought we could do. Um change lives in ways we never I never thought. Um so if you are looking for something to change in your life, then I would love to chat with you because um there's something powerful of really deciding and setting your mind and being willing to move forward and change physically and um, financially. And I can tell you, um, when you start to walk through the fires and you, you put your hand to what God is putting before you, it might not be necessarily like your life's call, but to use it as a platform and go forward and do more do more than where you are currently it's amazing and it's so freeing so i'm thankful for the amazing team i have who are an incredible blessing they're friends honestly i don't know if i would have been able to become this close being a stay-at-home mom but they are lifelong people that i get to do life with and um on top of that the community is awesome and i get I mean, we are just so, so blessed. So I love you guys. Know that there is more and you are created for more. Um, and let's talk if you need a change. All right. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.